When it comes to shave brushes, very much like razor blades, they are very specific to the user. For me, I've broken my hands, my fingers, several times playing football in high school. It's hard for me to grip stuff. So handle is a very important thing for me. Not just the classical composer, but the handle of a shave brush. And when we talk about handles of shave brushes, we talk about the handle of the shave brush. There's a few different styles, and I don't think I have all of them, but I'll try and show you the differences here. So I have this tiny one, this Mondial one. It is very tiny, it's made in Italy. Uh, I get it. They used to make brushes like that a long time ago. I have bigger hands that are broken and don't work good. So I like a little bit longer handles, a little bit chonkier in the bottom, easier to hold when I'm just digging in and making a good lather. Uh, so chonkier bottoms or longer handle. The Zingari Man has a wonderful handle that I love when I'm holding it, either like this for my face or like this when I'm lathering in a bowl. I can dig it, I can dig it. Here is a conundrum for me. So this is a Phoenix Artisan one, the Atomic Rocket has the chonky bottom, little butt there, but it's got this hard edge on it, hard edge. So it doesn't feel quite as comfortable in my hand because I do have to kind of grip a little bit harder for me. So this handle here, people love it, I understand. I am not a super fan of this brush. I use this brush probably exclusively for a total month and I had good time. It's just after experience these other brushes that I have now, it's just, I'm finding out what I like and I'm gonna start weaning them back. I like this chonky bottom from Moon Soaps. It's easy peasy. This is, uh, yeah, it's great. This just feels good in my hand. There's 100 out here that I like. Not 100, I don't have 100 brushes. That would be uh, too many for your boy Greg. That would be too many. What style of handle do you like on your brush? Let me know. And then there's like this one here, which is aesthetically really cool. Feels good in the hand. Um, but it's not my favorite bottom shape for me, for holding stuff, that kind of stuff. Smiles for Miles one that I have is a bit too, not chonky enough in the butt, but it's still a good, good little brush there. When it comes to looking at different knots and stuff, it's very, there's a lot of options out there. Some are synthetic, meaning they are plastic, fake, not fake, They're, they like exist. They're just not animal hair. Then you get badger hair. Then you get boar hair. There's even horse hair ones out. I say nay to those because I haven't tried one yet. So who who knows? Maybe I like it. Maybe I like it, but maybe I'm not. Like at some point I gotta bring the reins in. Horse joke, you know, just settle on something. But you can also get hybrid brush knots. And the knots are like the hair bits, right? Hybrid brush knots that I really enjoy. 70% badger. 30% boar, very cool, very cool stuff. And I don't know if I said boar, but boar here as well. For me, the importance of the knot comes down to uh, one thing, backbone. And backbone is something my dad said I never had. Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, but backbone would be how easily the hair splays on your hair face or hand if you're doing this exercise. This brush here, not a lot of backbone. And it splays out real big on your face. This, boar hair, lots of backbone, lots of exfoliating features. So these would be like the extremes, okay? Got that Phoenix and got this Omega boar. The Phoenix has a synthetic knot, meaning you got it. Fake hair, this one, this is a badger hair. It's a Fanchurian knot from Chisel and Hound. It's really nice, I like it a lot, but it's got really good backbone, like enough backbone, not not too hard like this the boar one. Look, I'm a unicorn, but just enough for me. I like it a lot, it's very nice, very, very nice. You can even get synthetics that have good backbone, like the Zingari Man one. This one has pretty good backbone. It's good, it's good enough, good enough. Yeah, see, it's not splaying out like that Phoenix one is, which, side note, the Phoenix one, again, people really like that one, so keep that in mind. And then you can get into the hybrid, and the hybrid, again, has 70% badger, 70% badger, 30% boar. So you get more backbone, but not quite as much as the boar. So if you have the boar here, 
you'll have the hybrid here and typically you'll have a badger one on the other side of it going from most backbone to middle of the ground backbone. Now, a lot of what comes down to getting more backbone, right, is what's called the loft. And the loft is how far the hair sticks out of the shoulder of the brush. So like this one is sitting up a lot, little bit higher than other ones, like the Zingari Man one. So that's gonna splay a lot easily, more easily. And then you look at like the Smiles one, right? This guy here, that is sitting up, sitting down a lot lower. So sometimes you'll find people will either lift them up or have like washers in there if they wanna raise up the knot and get more splay because some people like it. I get it for me, F it. I don't want more splay. And like even this one, I set this one by itself all the way at the bottom. It's a hybrid knot, good backbone, great little brush for my face. You don't need to spend a crap load of money on these brushes. Uh, Phoenix brushes are well regarded in the community and they are anywhere from $15 to $25 depending on what they're going for now on the internet. And you can spend as much as is this, I forget how much I spent for this one, but artisan ones that are custom made, one-offs typically go for more money. Now the AP Shape Co. one here uh, has a G69 knot on it, I think. I always forget, G5C, it's something. It's something like that. It doesn't matter, AP Shape Co. has a good knot. And this is just like a really simple handle. It was a low cost $5 option, I think, but it fits really nice in my hand, so I really like this brush, so I didn't have to spend the million dollars on the chisel and hound one, just whatever that cost. And then also the one that I put together myself, all in was like $23 for the hair, uh, the adhesive and the handle. So not expensive and the labor was not very expensive either because it was me. And it only took like a couple minutes. Easy peasy stuff. I probably effed it up. So that's how I kind of look at brushes. I don't like small handles. I like a lot of backbone and I like something that fits comfortably in my hand to cook up some yummy lather. I hope you have a great day. I appreciate you watching. I will talk to you soon. And just, you know, have a, have a great time on your face, man. And ladies, if you ladies shave their faces, I don't know. Oh, this is a trap. Goodbye.